everyone. I'm a little early. Hello, one. This is just a dad. We're our Saturday morning coffee with dad. I've got all three Keurig K Supremes, and we're going to be doing some comparisons. Chat room's open, so if anybody's got any questions or comments you want to make, I can see the chats when they pop open, so. Christine's already said hi, how are you? Thanks for joining in this morning. We'll be brewing several K-Cups. <laughs> I love Gary, yeah. They are pretty cool machines. This latest one is pretty, pretty fun to play with. And Honorary Tom, Honorary Granddad Tom is on. Good morning from Central Texas, Tom. Nice to have you on. How are you feeling today? Hopefully you had a better day, better night last night. Just a few more minutes here. <laughs> Looks like nobody's on now. <laughs> I got a little symbol. Oh, sorry, Tom. Sorry to hear that. Darn sugar level. So I got the Smart Plus Coffee Maker about two weeks ago, right when it came out. They kind of snuck it out. Wasn't a big fanfare. They sent an email out to everybody, and I clicked on the email if you were signed up for their emails, and uh, it's only available on their website. It should become more readily available. This will probably be the this will probably be the the Keurig for Christmas. I'm thinking around Black Friday. I bet they might do a sale on it or something. But it, I bet they're gearing up for a big sale of these. I found a few quirks with it, but nothing too too serious. The K70. I'm not sure what the K70 is. I know people know these by numbers, but I know them. This is the K Supreme Plus Smart. This is the K Supreme Plus, and this is just the K Supreme. Now they all have this multi-brew technology, the Keurig Platinum. Yeah, I haven't seen the Keurig Platinum yet. So as we can see, the, the multi-brew looks the same. I honestly don't see, I don't see anything different. Same with the lower needle basket. It's got that single needle. Now the only thing I see is this is the new smart one. and I, and I've showed people it's got this uh, camera up here. I will definitely be going over the Keurig app here in just a second. So I'm going to get my mirror. You can see, see that camera? That's pretty cool. It's got a camera that takes a picture or looks at it. It has to take a picture, I would think. It takes a picture of the top of the K-cup. Now, if anybody watched my previous video I did, I thought this QR code was very important. But I put tape over that QR code and it doesn't, it's not looking at the QR code. It's looking at the whole picture of the K-Cup. So one of the biggest differences we're going to get to is, so up here at the top, you know, no screen, very small screen. And then this thing's got a really nice screen. Um, this was their first K-Supreme. There's, there's just a strong brew and over ice. There is no uh, other strengths other than strong brew, and there's no other temperature. You can't select the temperatures. And this has 6, 8, 10, and 12. This one has 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then same with this one. This one kept the 4, 6, 8, 10. 
The ring around the outside edge of the K-cup does contain information. Okay, 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 Tom. I think you're on to something. Maybe. I'm not seeing it. This says just unit not labeled for retail sale, but I don't see anything on the bottom. But this is where, so they started changing the game with temperature. So we've got three temperatures on this one, which was nice. I really like that higher temperature on this one. And saying they, they went to three strengths on this one. So that was, that was kind of a game changer on this one. And they changed the kind of the looks of it. I like the stainless steel look. This is definitely an all plastic look. They even changed this handle is now metal. Then they kind of went to a more modern um, metal look. Again, this is metal here. But over here, this is all plastic. Even the outside feels all plasticky. But again, this is where they really started to change things. There's several different temperatures. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We got six temperatures. And strengths, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five strengths. That's a huge improvement. But the real thing is this brew ID. So we're gonna talk about this brew ID. So we put a K cup in. Uh, will not work with that outside ring, okay. So here, we put a K cup in. It's gonna tell us what the K cup is. Good morning from Clarksville, Tennessee. Good morning, Wanda. Thanks for joining in this morning. So see how that, I put it in there and it tells us that's a Starbucks brew. I was hoping it, it really just says Starbucks. I think the app will say more, but at least it gives us some settings. So I really like this. People, people often wonder what to brew your K-Cups at. And I like that they're giving us some settings. So they're telling us it's a balanced and a warm. And then all simply have to do is just press the K button. And it's going to do the brew for you. Yeah, you're going to love it. I think you're really going to like it. It's kind of expensive, but I've liked it so far. These are some, these are some of the quietest cure eggs they, they've made. I, they, their technology has just completely changed. This thing is so quiet and fast. It is nothing like their old brewers. So if anybody's had a K-Supreme before, knows that they're just quiet. I'm not getting a bunch of splashing. Some people complain a lot of splashing around. I'm not getting a bunch of that. Okay. And that screen tells you to enjoy when it's done. Yeah, I know, Tom. That one cracked big time. I should have showed you after I dumped the, the water or the coffee out. It had a huge crack in it, wow. So then we just simply take it up. Now, if anybody's never had a, if you've never had a K-Supreme Plus, you're gonna have to get used to this. So the top needles, good deal. Oh, that half price deal through Keurig was a good deal, yeah. So see how these top needles, they do get coffee grounds on them. But it stays on the top. Um, so, but if I do a fresh water rinse right now, so if I would just close this and do a fresh water rinse, you will see those coffee grounds in your water. But if I just keep doing another K-cup after K-cup, those coffee grounds don't make it around the K-cup and into your drink. So some people think that they're gonna get some coffee grounds into their drink. You don't necessarily get them in your drink, but they do kind of hover up around those top needles. So you'll find, I find myself, I do fresh water rinse, you know, at least once every other brew or something like that. You just kind of get used to it. Yep, I've tried the rinse cup. 
cups. Uh, the rinse cups work really well. I like that they remove the coffee oils. So coffee has a pretty, um, it's an oil that is inside the coffee and it kind of stains those bottom needles. And I think those rinse cups do a good job of cleaning out those oils because normal soap and water just doesn't, doesn't get it. And running a hot water rinse really doesn't get it. But let's just do a really quick comparison. Let's put, let's put a cake up in all of them. Let's do, I know everybody's wanting to see, let's just compare them all three together. Okay. All right, so this one we've got to select the brew temperature. I've got it on the strongest. Let's go down a strength. This one, I don't have it on bold, so we'll just keep it there. This one says it's eight o'clock and it recommends eight ounce balanced and warmer. Okay. So now let's I'll put the K button on all of them and we'll just see how they all do. I got to get a cup. Okay, we're doing a simultaneous brew on all three. And again, I think, thanks everybody for joining in this morning. Sorry I missed the last couple weeks. Um, I was on vacation one week and there was an air show the other week. The air show was only an hour away, so I just had to go. Well, I thought I pressed these K buttons, but I must not have pressed them. Because now they're brewing. About 183. Same, 183. A little warmer over here. One ninety two, so they do get a little warmer as it brews on. So they all brew about the same, other than they have a few more settings. Yes, I saw I saw the email, Tom. Yeah, everybody, I've got a. I'm starting up another YouTube channel. Um, it's going to be just a dad. I'm working on the name right now. Uh, I think I'm going to call it just a dad tips, but it's going to be kind of over a general purpose um, how to videos, stuff that doesn't really have to do with coffee makers, like how to fix your lawnmower, how to fix. Uh, a toaster how to fix this so different videos like that but i also have an aviation channel i'm a big aviation nut i like to watch airplanes and so i got videos of airplanes i take that's just a dad aviation so i've been kind of separating my videos this channel is going to mainly deal with uh, keurigs or not keurigs but coffee and it's going to deal with a lot of keurigs but mainly coffee makers coffee drinks and that sort of thing so So yeah, somebody was wanting to see, so let's see the app. So this one's gonna have an app. I, bro I broke my other tablet, I had to get a new tablet. So you gotta get, this, the Keurig's got an app. I, I didn't know about this app until I bought this coffee maker. Need app. These it, it says it knows the handles up. That's pretty cool. So let's put another cake up in there. Let's do a Maxwell House. And so let's close the lid. 
and let's watch the app work. There, it gives you a little more information. It says it's Maxwell House, 100% Colombian. Now I can change these. These are sliders now. I can do eight ounce, 10 ounce. I can do robust, rich, change the temperature, gives me the name of what I'm gonna be doing. I can even, so once I figure out what that I like, I can hit the save button and we'll call this Granddad Tom. All right. Now I can just hit the K button. This is like the brew button. I really like this warning. It says make sure he got a mug underneath there because you could be doing this from somewhere else and you're not, I, I've caught myself a few times not having a mug underneath there. So hit continue and it's going to start brewing automatically from the app. So this is something that these two don't have. These are, I would consider like dumb coffee makers. They don't, they're not connected to the, to the Wi-Fi or the internet or anything. That's why they're calling this one the smart. And there's the screen. I can cancel the brew if I wanted to from here. Yeah, you made the no mug. Yeah, I've cleaned up the mess. Yeah, easy to do, isn't it? Okay, there you go. And it, it's relatively quick as far as the app talking to the machine. So I think I think the app is done very well. I've had apps that aren't done. And it even gives you a warning, remove used pod. So it knows that the pod in there is, is used. So let's go over some, similar, some other differences. So this has a noticeably smaller tank. They did increase the size. And they even made this one a little bit bigger. It's not much bigger. I don't know the exact size, but... They all have the water filter, the tall handle water filter. Now this one, this, this is the old K Supreme. You can move this reservoir for, to the back or to the other side. Or no, just to the back. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, you can move it to the back or this side. This one, these reservoirs are fixed. They've got this QR code. That's when you're setting up the Wi-Fi so you can connect your attack this machine so they all have the pretty standard cord really heavy duty three prong there's just a lot of similarities but again you're just they just increased the functionality of it now something they did change was the descale on this one this one's going to tell you to descale and then it's going to highlight a button for you to do the descale process where this one um You've got to go into descale mode um, by pressing a couple buttons. I've got to research on how to descale this one. So. so this video may not be very long today, guys. I do uh, I do have cluster headaches. I've had, I had three or four last night, and unfortunately, I'm starting to get another one. And if anybody doesn't know about cluster headaches, they're pretty painful, and they're right behind your right eye. They last about 30 minutes, but I got one trying to come on, so I'm going to try to push through it. So I'm not my happy chipper self today. I do apologize. I was really looking forward to this live stream. Um, it just, uh, I'm just not feeling the best today. I do apologize for that. I have, I have a terrible thing with headaches, and 
they're just mm -hmm. they're it is what it is but um so there we got that is there anything else anybody wanted to see uh the over the ice let's do an over ice brew because the, the temperature changes with over ice i'm going to see if it's going to change on all of them Okay, so we're gonna do an over ice brew. Here's got this button, you're just gonna hit over ice. And it doesn't tell you what about it. It brews a six ounce brew over ice. Let's hit the over the ice button here. It says over ice. Let's hit, this one's a little different, over ice. And then just hit the K button. So let's, I got them all selected. Let's do over ice. Let's try to watch some temperatures. Okay, that's about one seventy, one eighty three. 183, so 183. You got the 190. So this one is starting to cool down 165. This one's cooling down. So they all three do cool down over ice. Well, that, that's interesting, that's good to know. And they all took about the same time. So for those of you that are getting this new case apart, Case Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker, go to the website for Keurig, download the use and care manual. It's got so much more information. I don't know why this this brochure that comes with it does not have as much information it's got some good information in it. why it doesn't have everything in it i'm not sure so i'm sorry everyone i am gonna have to cut the live stream short today i'm just not feeling the best the headache is really starting to set in now i was hoping it would go away so i do apologize for this everyone thanks everybody for joining in i do appreciate everybody's support and that's been part of the reason i haven't produced a lot of videos lately is i've been having quite a few headaches but um, this will pass. Um, these only last for a while, and then I, I'll go. I won't have any for a while. So I do apologize, everybody. I am, I'm so sorry that I have to cut the live stream short today. I was really looking forward to this one. There are a lot more differences with these. I will be doing a, just a standard video of a comparison of all three that will be very, you know, I'll, I'll try to be as detailed as I can. So I'm sorry. Uh, take care, everyone. Thanks, Tom. And that I've got to go.